The gates come down probably ten times more than any other fence. Other than that, fault spread out around the course, but... Uh, oh, and then he jumped her off! Saw the gate and uh, actually jumped too high over it. Well, he doesn't like the water. And uh, that's a horrible moment there for Laura. It's uh, just to be tricky. Spooking at the water. Oh, no, he jumped right over to the right. Now, I don't know whether he cleared it, but he's in. Flag's been raised. Very powerful, but will he have the control after the water? Oh, and he went for the level eight stride, sat quiet time, having had a year out. A very talented chestnut man. Oh, he's flying into those gates. I don't think he wanted that. He decided to come inside to the water. Obviously, very confident. Oh, he's dead right. But again, like our one clear round of your reeling. He did actually get the. Oh, no, he doesn't like the water. Got to be in. Now we're used to seeing John riding great Argento. Horse gets a very long horse. Slightly twists in the air. Just watch the back end over the gates here. Yeah, and it didn't work on that occasion. Twisted and uh, caught the gates behind. Could be a real threat in this. Uh, oh, that was gun. a miss. Yep. We don't like to criticise the riders too much, but he really didn't have a stride there again. It's a brave, rangy horse, but at least to set him up. He did everything he could there. But loves coming back to this place. He's won so many big competitions here. Well, yeah, it's pretty interesting how so many riders are choosing to, to, leave, to leave Britain and move to the continent. We've got Jess Mendoza and Joe Klee and now Guy Williams for it. And, not just happening there for Guy. And he's not the best water jumper, so you saw Beezy had to use a lot of pace to um, get actually over the water. She couldn't just trust him. He's so careful.